<clears throat> For this video, I am going to solve a sample problem on simple strain involving uh, temperature or thermal stresses. <clears throat> Here's the problem. A hollow steel cylinder surrounds a solid copper cylinder. And the assembly is subjected to an axial loading of 50,000 pounds as shown. The cross-sectional area of steel is 3 inch square, while that of copper is 10 inch square. Both cylinders are the same length before the load is applied. Determine the temperature rise of the entire system required to place the entire load on the copper cylinder. The cover plate at the top of the assembly is rigid. For copper and steel given um, properties modulus of elasticity and coefficient of thermal expansion. Okay, now in analyzing problems involving temperature change, first is i-allow ni mo siya mo expand or mo contract based sa condition. Like for this one, temperature rise. So, if there's a positive change, mo expand ang material. So, what we'll do is, i-remove I remove ang cover plate and allow the copper and steel to, exp to expand freely. So, and since different ang value sa alpha or, or coefficient of thermal expansion, like copper has a bigger alpha compared to steel. So, therefore, pag mo expand siya, same length and same temperature change, pag expand, mas bigger ang mas bigger ang change in length sa copper over steel since bigger ang bigger ang value sa alpha and from there reattach the cover plate and then apply the condition the condition is to place the entire load on the copper cylinder therefore the steel will not resist the 50 pound 50,000 pound load only the copper, okay? So, again, first, i-allow ni mo ang copper and steel to expand freely. So, you remove the cover plate. Okay, this is what will happen. So, remove the cover plate and then allow copper and steel to expand freely. Okay, this one. Okay, as we can see, Mas higher ang copper since mas bigger yung coefficient of expansion, thermal expansion compared to steel. So, and then attach, reattach the cover plate. And then to place the entire load sa copper, so steel will not resist the load. So, because of this 50,000 50, pound force, he applied na downward, makompress ng copper up to this point only. Since the steel will not resist the 50,000 force. So because of this 50,000 force, makompress niya, there will be an actual deformation up to this point only. Okay. So only copper will experience axial deformation and not steel. Okay. So from this initial position nila, from here up to this point, this is the thermal deformation of copper. Okay. That's delta T of copper. T stands for thermal. And for steel, this increase in length is the thermal deformation of steel. And again, if you place the 50,000 pound force, it compress na niya up to this point. So this change in length, this shortening, is the actual deformation of copper. Okay. 
And let's recall the expression of axial deformation and thermal deformation. We have this one. Axial deformation PL over EE. Thermal deformation alpha L delta T. So our compatibility equation is thermal deformation of copper minus thermal deformation of steel is equal to axial deformation of copper. We have this one. And then we substitute the expressions of thermal and axial deformation. And then substitute values also. So for copper, the alpha is 9.3 times 10 raised to 6. Negative 6 rather. Per degree Celsius. The length is 20 inches. Change in temperature. Minus for steel. This is the coefficient. This is the coefficient of thermal expansion. L delta T. And axial deformation of copper. P is 50,000. Length is 20. Original length. Area 10. And modulus of elasticity, 16 times 10 raised to 6. And then compute, no? This can be combined. Okay. We can extract delta T and then subtract this value by this one. And then you divide the result to uh, right side. And the answer is 111.2. 607 degrees Celsius. This is the final answer. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. <clears throat>